So this project required some changes or you could say many changes. So let's do that. So first thing we're going to do is to attach this long wooden board to this tool. And if I tell you the measurement of this board. So this is around 120 centimeter which is 1.2 meter. So let me just attach this long wooden board with this tool using a wooden nut. Now it's time to take out the all of these things from this board and put it on the longer board. So let's do this. So I put everything all together basically the main part of it the motor and the barrel and the auger so you can see I put the barrel and auger and motor are well aligned so I put it all together then I'm tightening it because you have to make sure that at the end of the barrel on which there's a nozzle, nozzle side of the barrel there should not be much gap between the auger as well as the nozzle. So make sure you put it tightly because there's going to be some push backwards which going to try to push your auger backwards so make sure you hold it properly or tie it properly so that it won't come out while you are extruding the filament otherwise it's gonna cause you a lot of trouble So this was it for today's video. I know you've been expecting much more, but I showed you every single thing that I've taken out from that uh, wooden board and put it on a new one. And the sole reason for that is I want to make this thing in one pack, you could say, the extrusion system, then the puller, which is going to take out the filament from the nozzle and the cooling system, which will be water-based cooling system. And if you're worried about the moisture, let me tell you the Prusa, which is like a very big brand, which makes 3D printer as well as the filament and they use the water cooling system so that will not be issue with the PLA and ABS I don't know about much about the other materials uh, I mean I won't be extruding the carbon fiber or such complex things but that's okay in next video which I'll be dropping in like four five days until the cooling system as well as the puller which is going to take out the filament from the nozzle as I told you uh, gonna be completed I'm still working on the design in Fusion 360 and once I done I'm gonna show assemble put it, on, put it on this machine I'm gonna show you fully functioning machine and I already created a video on this thing but the problem with that thing was uh, it was everything was like very separated you need to pull all of these things together and then you can do the work on that but this time this will be pretty long I mean 1.2 meter long boat so it will be pretty damn easy to you know to know putting all the things together and then this winder or where you can attach the pool and it will keep on winding so i'm working on this like full time go to college then i come back and i work on this so uh, to support me you can subscribe to this channel and hit the like to this video and i'll be coming up with the new videos very soon uh, i know it's like a few weeks back i have not uploaded the video for like months but now i'm back and 
I'm gonna like put, I'm gonna put a lot of my time into this project as well as on the video. So do subscribe. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Goodbye.